Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made dip bars out of PVC pipe. Now, this isn't my idea. It's not an original idea. It's been done many times before. I seen it on YouTube, on online forums. I also saw people doing something like this in a park nearby, so it gave me an idea to try to make my own. So I'm gonna show you the exact measurements and the supplies and materials you need to make these, as well as estimate of how much it would cost. For these uh, dip bars, you need PVC pipes that's one and a half inch thick. And when you buy them, they might be longer, so you have to cut them. So here are the exact measurements and I'll also leave it in the description below. You need six PVC pipes that's two feet long, eight PVC pipes that's one feet long, and that's for the bottom foot of the dip bar four 90 degree elbows, four T-joints, and make sure when you buy these joints to hold the pipe together, you buy the slip one. I actually made the mistake and bought the threaded joints, and it was the worst idea ever because it just wouldn't fit correctly. Um, if you look inside the joint and you see rings like that and it's not smooth, those are the threaded ones. Definitely stay away from them. Buy the slip ones where you can just snap it together it's always a good idea to dry fit everything before you leave the store or before you cut your pieces. It will save you a lot of time and going back and forth with everything. You also need eight caps. Those are the end pieces I use to snap the bottom legs together. Once again, buy the slip ones, not the threaded. You could tell by looking the inside of it. And if it's smooth and it snaps on together, those are the right ones. You need PVC primer and PVC glue. Uh, PVC pipe cutters if you don't have your own sometimes Lowe's or Home Depot have like a station you can use and you can cut it there after you pay for it so definitely check that out as a extra option now if you have all the right supplies it's actually really simple to do and put together you basically take the two feet long pipes uh, that's for the sides and one in the middle and then after you cut them you attach the 90 degree joints that goes across from them. And for the bottom part, you use the T-joints at the bottom and you snap it together. And after that, it's the legs on each side. And when you cut them, you want to add the primer and then glue and then snap it together to hold them together. But yeah, it's always a good idea to dry fit everything to make sure you know it fits correctly and to hold it correctly so it's not crooked. So that's pretty much it. You just cut the pipes, put some primer and cement and seal it together with the joints. And once it dries, you can use it right away. It does shake a little bit because the ground isn't flat. The tiles are actually uneven out there, but I'm a, I'm 173 pounds. And I know for sure that would hold my weight without any issues. I actually try to take the dip bar apart and it wouldn't bulge. So if you do it correctly, it'll hold but I don't actually know what the weight limit is. If you find out, let me know. I do know there are some like YouTubers who were actually pretty big and they made dip bars out of PVC pipes and it held together just fine. Just make sure you keep it indoors when uh, not in use because I know wear and tear from like the weather and the rain could um, make the pipes wear down over time. So yeah, keep in mind, this isn't the only way how to make a dip bar out of PVC pipes. There's different ways you can make it to make it more sturdy and stable if that's what you want. But I really like the way I made it here because it was really simple and easy to make. And it's also very portable. I could just take it, throw it in the back of my car. Uh, if I want to go work out at a park, if I'm going on any trips or say if I'm going to the girl's house for a few days, I could just bring my dip bar so that way I have something to work out on. So yeah, that's all. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you learned something from this video if you're trying to make a dip bar for yourself. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on my videos. If you have a channel of your own, definitely leave it in the comment section below. I would love to check out what you got going on. Like, comment if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching guys and take care of yourself and I'll talk to you later on the next video. Bye.